Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Myself, Dr. Hilary. I am currently pursuing my master's in prosthetic dentistry, crown and bridge, and also a part-time YouTuber. If you are new to the channel, please consider subscribing yet because this channel simplifies dentistry immensely. Yeah, so what is the correct time to join a clinic for a BDS graduate? Okay, this is a most frequently asked question to me on my Instagram or on my YouTube. So I would say that, see there is no defined guideline that yeah, you should join clinic in so and so year so that it will be beneficial to you. But yeah, what is my opinion is that first and second BDS is where you know you are just getting into this branch and you are understanding the human body, you are understanding the basics of dentistry, the development of teeth and all. So I think yeah, you should give yourself a year or so when you have just entered into the BDS. But third year, final year and internship are the three years where if possible, then obviously you should join a clinic. Now many of you might have already joined or maybe working as an associate at somewhere or might have heard from your seniors or uh, so that how their experience is working as an associate. But I think after this video your view will change completely and you will focus on things that will actually matter for your career ahead. So far, if you are loving this video, please don't forget to give a thumbs up and do share it among your friends because I want to reach more amazing dental students and dentists just like you. Okay, so what are the things which you should focus on where you are working as an associate dentist? Number one is communication skill. Okay, dentistry mein sabse zyada mushkil hai patient ko convince karna. Okay, because Indian public is not used to spending money on teeth. Okay, so you need to understand that how to communicate with patients and how to convince them. And I think that you will learn from observing the dentist where you are working as an associate. So pay attention whenever your uh, dentist is talking with their patients, okay, how he or she is explaining the treatment plan, what are their tricks to convince their uh, patients and uh, you know how they are uh, growing their practice just by communicating with patients. And I'm sure that this is not a very common skill but uh, yeah, uh, definitely for a successful career in dentistry you should have one. Now the number two, the second most important tip is the materials and instruments which you know are being used in a dental clinic. So there is a huge difference we practice in an institution and when we work as an individual in our own clinic. Okay. So the second thing which you should focus on is the materials and the instruments uh, that particular dentist is using or you know which are commonly being used outside. What are the cements? What are the impression materials? And dentistry has a lot of stuff. Okay. What are the words? Which company? And uh, you know how frequently they are needed. The third most important thing is that you know you should be always ready to work. Show your enthusiasm, show your energy at your workplace, okay? Whatever procedures you have done earlier, whether it's making an alginate impression or maybe just cementing a crown, whatever procedures you have done, do not hesitate to ask for it that let me do it, sir, I can do it. Or let me do it, ma'am, I can do it, okay? Try to win their trust and that's how you build a connection and that's how you, you know, start growing and learning. And with all of that, you know, always try to make that small conversation or maybe a small greeting or whatever the minimum conversation you can make with the patients which are walking in your clinic, okay? It, so it creates two things. First is that, you know, it gives a good impression about the clinic where you're working, that the staff is very warm and welcoming. And the second thing is it will help you win your dentist's trust. If you are struggling with making a good resume, check out my video and also I have made a video on checklist for all the interns that these are the procedures where you should focus on the most during your internship so that it will help you more when you will uh, pass out from that college. 
these were some small yet significant advice from my side do let me know your views in the comment section below or if you are struggling with anything then please feel free to contact me on instagram my email address or you can also write down a comment below thanks for watching guys see you in the next video